Hey Aries, welcome to the weekly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be from today, October, almost said August, something might have happened in August for you Aries, uh, October 22nd to the 31st. So the way this works for my newbies, hello, thank you for checking me out. Um, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly or someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to, okay? All right, so Aries... <laughs> You guys know I don't sing. <laughs> I don't I don't sing uh, on the videos here, but I heard that song. Um I'm just going to speak it and not sing it. Uh, uh I'm I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'm going to be back again. Uh Aries, some of you are just you're gone. You're not really here. You're not really here. You're I feel like mentally you're kind of checked out, Aries, if I'm being honest here. Some of you guys might actually be traveling. Some of you guys might even be leaving the party early. I don't know what that's about. Some of you guys are leaving the party early. A Halloween party, maybe? Anyway, I don't know why that came through. That was weird. Anyway, Aries, <clears throat> I really feel like you guys are checked out here. I feel like you guys are kind of distracted. Um, you're not really paying attention to, like, your, your to-do list. You're not paying attention to, like, your obligation. That's what it is, your obligations. You're not paying attention to your obligations here. Um, I really feel almost like a daydreamy, like, mm, mm. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't want to think about this. I don't want to think about that. Something's got something is clouding your your headspace, Aries, which is really interesting because normally that's not a very Aries like thing. Um, usually, got, you guys are very like clear, 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 clear cut. Um, you're known for that. You're it's one of your bread and butter. Uh, one of your bread and butter. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's one of your that's one of your like notorious Arian things here. So it, this could be someone that you're connecting with Aries. Like I said, it is energy, so it can be vice versa. Um, but something has gotten in your head infiltrated Ooh, infiltrated something has infiltrated your headspace i just play with the cards when i talk about meditative session i find it also brings up more information but we're gonna get to do the pre-shuffle after this anyway aries back to you so i'm like so you guys got me all like add here um <laughs> aries i really feel like something has clouded your mind pre made you preoccupied you're just checked out you're checked out. You're checked out with the person you're dealing with or the situation. I do feel a lot of you, it's within work. I feel like a lot of you at work, you're just like, <laughs> you're like, is it Wednesday? Oh, damn. It ain't Friday. Like, you're just, you're not here. You're not cognizant. You're not cognizant here. Um, I do feel like for some of you, it could just be like stress, like stress or like concerns that's, Big concern, a big concern. Um, Aries, I, I just think that you need a change or there's something about your life that you're realizing you really don't like and you're like, God damn it, how do I get out of this? Yeah, star in reverse, Aquarian energy just came out. Um, you're not liking what's going on in your life right now, Aries, and I think ten of swords in reverse. Okay, something happened, Aries. <laughs> something did happen. It was a concern, it was a worry, or something, it came out again. It came out again. Uh, or something that was just a big-ass pain or a betrayal, and I think it's taken up a lot of your headspace, and you are not present. People might even be very taken aback by this, Aries. They might even be like, Aries, what is going on? Are you here? Wake up. Wake up. So, Aries, we got to figure out what, the, what that's about. I did just hear the word black. That's interesting. Maybe you like black as a color. That's so weird that they gave me that. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, Aries, whatever you're experiencing. Okay, Aries, we're going to go there. Don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger. It's something emotional you have to deal with and you're ignoring that. So in ignoring the emotional thing that's bothering you, now you're just like, like, <laughs> like you're almost becoming not paralyzed. That's not the right way to say it. Like, you're ignoring something that's really, really bothering you on an emotional level and you need to acknowledge it. And because you're not acknowledging it, uh, it's taking up a lot of energy pushing that out and ignoring it. So you can't focus on anything. So not only are you not focusing on anything three dimensional or tangible, I do feel pentacles. So I do feel like I said, a lot of this is happening at work. It could just be in your day to day life. Um, but Aries, whatever you're blocking out emotionally, it's now become a major distraction because you're ignoring the emotions of it. And Aries, I love you. I do. I love you. But we all know, Aries, sometimes you're you're really not keen on looking at the emotional part of something, right? And that's that's exactly what I think is going on here. And so because of that, you're ignoring your obligations or you're not just putting in like the normal effort that you normally would. Uh, and it's showing. It's really, really showing here. Okay. All right, Aries. So let's go ahead. 
and get the cards calibrated. Um, you just got to acknowledge it, Aries. Whatever's bothering you, you have to acknowledge it. You can't pretend like everything's okay because clearly you can't. <laughs> You're, t you're too distracted. You're too distracted. You just got to go there. I'm sorry, Aries. You got to go to the water. You got to go to the water. I'm sorry. You have to. You're going to feel a lot better. I promise. Pleasing forth any messages of true feeling and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 22nd to the 31st. Some of you might actually go on a trip to run away from your emotions. Aries, I love you. I do. But that's totally what I'm getting here. It's like a lot of shadowy stuff has come up and you got to You got to go there and you don't want to. So instead of going there, you're just letting shit preoccupy your mind and you're just not present. You're not present. Let's see what happened, Aries. Let's see what happened. Please forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, I did just hear the word catatonic. I don't think you're that extreme. I don't think you're that extreme. If you are, you are, but I did just get that word. Oh, Aries. Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. Also Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. This is usually, usually a trickster energy, but I feel like your batteries are like, again, like you're not present. You're, I was gonna say your batteries are drained, but I can feel you have energy. You're just, you're, you're just not here. You're not here. You're not here. The magician is out of the building. The magician has left the party early. Aries. Oh, Aries, I feel for you. I like, you're just not, cogn you're just not present. You're just not present. Oh, interesting. We have a two of wands, Aries energy with the three of cups in reverse. Can't Syrian energy. Uh, what could be preoccupying your mind is maybe reconciling with somebody here. Water, emotions, maybe wanting that, but being stuck in this two of wands energy. Look, he's tied to the wands. Like he's actually tied here. And I feel like you might even have a guy talking to you through this or like, <laughs> it's your little inner voice, Aries, like basically telling you like, hey, you, you, you know what you have to look at. <laughs> you know, you have to look at, you know, you have to acknowledge if you want to, uh, reconcile with someone uh, or if you want to work it out with someone you gotta go you gotta go to the shadowy part of yourself you gotta acknowledge that part of yourself you have to acknowledge the emotions you're actually feeling you can't just you 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 just you can't just not do it it's clearly bothering you Aries and clearly it's putting you in a space where you can't manifest things because you're not present it's very distracting for you very distracting for you. Okay. Aries, like I said, this could be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Um, and like I said, there's also still the pre-shuffle. Let's see what else wants to come out here. Please bring forth any other messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, someone rising Venus. <sighs> Aries, the devil. Capricorn energy. This is so preoccupying your mind. It's like, it's not even quite an obsession because you're trying to ignore it. You're trying to ignore it, but you can't ignore it. Hence the devil. You are now restricted by the devil in this way. And it's it's making it hard for you to focus on anything else. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, I feel like the devil's keeping you in this Two of Wands energy. Page of Swords. Um, interesting. I feel like you need to talk, Aries. I mean, that's a big theme for a lot of people right now. I feel like you need to talk. I feel like, again, acknowledging the devil. Could be doing the Capricorn, but not necessarily. Acknowledging what? Acknowledging the thing that's plaguing you. Acknowledging your demons here, Aries. That's going to bring you back to life. That's going to bring you back. Um, that's going to bring you back. Let's put it that way. That's going to bring you back. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Wow, Five of Swords in reverse. Venus and Aquarian energy. I'm sorry. Acceptance and forgiveness. I'm sorry. Aries, I feel... Wow, Five of Cups at the bottom. Aries, I really feel that you know, maybe something happened in Aries. This, this can happen with Aries energy sometimes. And again, no shade. We've all got our thing. We've all got our thing. But Aries, this can happen sometimes with you guys where, you know, if you get triggered by something or your shadow gets triggered, something happens. There's a kerfuffle. And then sometimes you just need to take some time. And then once you take your time, then you're like, oh, man, maybe I shouldn't have reacted that way. Or, 
you know, ah, actually, I really want this person back in my life. But you're not really acknowledging why you did it in the first place or what really happened in the first place to make you feel the way you felt. And I think you're also trying to ignore the fact of how badly you want to reconcile with this person. And so because of that, you're kind of letting the devil just kind of take control over you. And then you're not really cognizant at work. You're not really cognizant in your day to day. You just got to talk. You got to talk to your inner demons here. You got to have a little chat with yourself and be honest with yourself because you are not here. You're not here. And it is about forgiveness. It is about forgiveness, Aries. Okay. And yeah, see, look, five of cups. See, it's really bumming you out. Five of cups. This is loss. This is sadness. This is grief. It's really bothering you emotionally. And I don't think you want to admit it. I don't think you want to admit it. Okay. All right, Aries. So let's go ahead and get into your reading here. For those who are new to my channel and new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Uh, messages come through for those who need to hear them as you heard me set the intention already. So if it's not your story, that's okay. It's not your week. It's meant for somebody else. And honestly, I don't think you guys want this one to be yours. <laughs> By the way, this energy is I don't think you want this one to be yours, okay? Uh, we are working with energy, so know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. If it's resonating, you already know. So you already know who you are in the story. Um, also, guys, we are working with um, energy, so gender does not matter. Uh, we're reading energies, not gender. We all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? Also, the time frame is 22nd to the 31st, but time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. I do this more for organiza organizational purposes. Excuse me. Um, yeah, any other information, guys, is all below. Okay, Aries, let's get into this. Any messages for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Aries? Oh, my Aries. Oh, it couldn't be clear. Judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader, nine of wands, wounded warrior energy, sag energy with the lovers, Gemini energy, also my divine soul connection card. You want to have a reconciliation with someone. You want to have resolution with someone. You want to put something behind you with, with between you and another person. That's what you want. But nine of wands, you're being very guarded. You're acting like that wounded warrior energy. You don't want to acknowledge this. This is what you don't want to acknowledge. You want this, but you're being guarded against this. If you look closely at the cards, you can see. Oh, actually, is it not focusing? Hold on. Yeah, if you can see how she's looking at that lover's card. She's like, I don't feel that way. Mm -mm. I, I don't feel that way. No, no, no. I don't, I don't got those feelings. I don't got those feelings. Aries, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Because you want to have a reconciliation. You wouldn't want this reconciliation if you didn't feel this way. You're denying your feelings because you don't want to feel the pain of it. I know what some of you guys really felt that. I, I'm just I'm just the messenger, guys. I mean, it's so clear. Aries, you want to fix this with someone, you want resolution with someone, but you don't want to acknowledge why you're so hurt or that you're even hurt about it. Aries, I love you, but it feels a little bit like a control thing bit of a power thing just saying any other messages for aries any other messages for aries nine of pentacles in reverse virgo energy also my pre-empress card you're lacking the confidence here you're lacking confidence as well um i think because you really feel bummed out about the situation and i think you yeah, Aries, there's a lot going on in your head. At the same time, you don't want to acknowledge your feelings about this person. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, Knight of, Knight of Swords, not Knight of Wands, <laughs> Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy could also be um, fire or air. Yeah, I really feel like you're lacking confidence in, in this happening here. Aries, I got to be honest, I feel like you want them to approach you as opposed to you approaching them. Yeah, I really feel that way. And so you're holding back a lot. You're not talking about it. You're not talking about it. You're not sharing your feelings about it because you don't even want to acknowledge the way you emotionally feel about this person. Um, but it's really kind of bringing more and more instability to your life because you're so distracted by it and you can't focus on other stuff right here. Yeah, like two of pentacles in a verse. This is like the everyday stuff, like our everyday wake up, go to the gym, all that. You, you, you're having a hard time doing that because you're not talking about how you really feel and what you really want because it's it's 
not talking about it, not, not acknowledging it is adding a lot of instability to your life. And you're also not very confident in approaching this person, which is why you want them to approach you, but you want them to approach you and you want this reconciliation, but you don't want to acknowledge how you feel. Aries, that's not how it works. You know that, you know that. Like I said, this can be vice versa. Any other messages for Aries? Oh shit. Any other messages for Aries? Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. We got a lot of cards out here now. Any other messages for Aries? Okay. So I got a fat batch that just came out here. Four of Wands, Aries energy with the moon. Piscean energy also uh, could be Cancer as well because it is the moon. And then we have this. The Knight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy, which is water or fire with the Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. And then we had one other card come out. Yeah, Justice in reverse. Yeah, Aries, I got to be honest with what I'm getting right here. Um, this Four of Wands in the moon, this is what you want. You want a stable connection, whether it's just a friend, a lover, a coworker, whatever. You want this back. This is what you want back. But the moon, you're, you're, you're hiding the emotional part of it. It's like, I want it, but I'm not going to chase it. it it's got to chase me. But you want it, Aries. <laughs> but you want it. And look at this. You see this? The Knight of Cups in a verse with the Seven of Wands in a verse with Justice in a verse. Knight of Cups in a verse, I'm getting a withholding of emotion. Withholding of emotion here. It's like, it's almost Aries like you're afraid to, afraid to be vulnerable. You're afraid to be vulnerable, but at the same time, it's leading to a major injustice in the situation. And I hate to say it, but it seems like it, you're kind of doing this to yourself and I'm not trying to throw shade or anything. I'm just the messenger guys. We all go through stuff. We're not perfect. The, you know, being here, living life is a learning experience. And this is something that you have to learn about yourself, Aries, for those that this is resonating with. And again, this can be vice versa, but Aries, it's really clear. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. You know, <laughs> I'm going to read what's in front of me. I want a reconciliation, but I can't acknowledge how I feel. I can't. So I'm just going to not say anything. And have it cause instability to my life, even though I just, I'm, it's a very much a pride thing here, Aries, that I'm picking up on. I'm not going to be the one to say anything, even though this is what I really, really want and I want that back. I'm just, I'm too afraid to be vulnerable. And I'm not going to be the one to approach. Overall energy, three of pentacles. Capricorn energy, you want this back. You want this reconciliation. You want this stability. You want this connection. You want to you want to collaborate and build with this person. You want to actually build with this person. Whoever this is, Aries, this is someone who's really clearly special to you, but you don't want to say anything. You want them to come to you. I'm sorry, Aries. I'm just I'm just speaking truth here. You want them to come to you. You want them to build with you, but you're not willing to do the approach. You're not willing to talk about it. You're not willing to speak your truth because you don't want to acknowledge your own emotions. Aries, that's not how it works. Oh, sorry guys. My mom was like, I'm freaked out. That's not how it works, Aries. I love you. I do. But that's not how this works. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the Nine of Wands and look at you being clarided here. Uh, I'm going to use the Rider Weight deck on this one. Do I have the Nine of Wands? Do I have the Nine of Wands for Aries? Do I have the Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Some of the Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Some of the Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Some of the Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Yay. <laughs> Aries, nine of wands clarified by the nine of wands. Sagittarian energy. You're very, very guarded against this. You do not want to acknowledge your feelings here. It's almost like the second I acknowledge my feelings, I'm going to start feeling more pain. It's like, but pain's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, Aries. We have to feel stuff. We're human. We're human. And if, and if you're that afraid of feeling pain with whatever Aries I'm tapped into, and again, it can be vice versa. Don't shoot me. Don't get mad at me. Um, that means that there's some wounds there that need to be healed. Okay. Time of the Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Time of 
Tell me more about the Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love. Ooh. Ooh. Eight of Cups. Piscean energy. Aries, I feel like you keep telling yourself, I can walk away. I can walk away. I can walk away. I can walk away. I feel like this is a pattern, Aries. This is a pattern. I, f I, I really feel that really strongly where it's like any kind of inkling of getting triggered by your shadow side or your ego getting triggered or like you think maybe someone's about to be out to get you, you bounce. I think that's usually what happens. I think that's might have been what happened here. And now you're realizing you really want this person back in your life or you really want to reconcile this person. And it's bringing you back to this place. Yeah, I feel I feel a major tendency to be like easily triggered and then running away. Being, just being honest. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I know I'm going to get a lot of hate on this video. Talk about the Nine of Wands. Talk about the Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love. Ooh, Four of Swords, Libra Energy. I like that this is here. I like that this is here because it's Four of Swords. Did I just say Four of Wands? Four of Swords, excuse me. Four of Swords, Libra energy. Um, I like that this is here because this is an energy of healing and recuperation. It also tells me that you took a big break from this person. That there was a, a sense of a break or some kind of separation. It's not set. That's interesting. I feel like it wasn't spoken. I feel like literally Aries, you or the other person just stopped talking. Kind of like ghosting. Yeah, I feel like it was a break or a separation that wasn't actually, like, said out loud. Two of the Nine of Wands. Two of the Nine of Wands. Emperor. Aries, I'm just the messenger. This is the Aries uh, Major Arcana card. It's also Taurus for me as a reader. Uh, divine Masculine Energy. It was the masculine energy who's been acting like this, okay? So for my feminine Aries people, this is most likely vice versa for you on the bottom. Four wands in reverse, Aries energy. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. I think an emperor got triggered here and very easily skittish, ran away because their ego was triggered, their shadow was triggered. And then there's been a sense of separation ever since. And now this emperor wants us back. This emperor wants a reconciliation, but they don't want to acknowledge their feelings. It's like, if I acknowledge how I feel, then I'm just going to get hurt again. It's like, well, if you acknowledge how you feel and let that pain come in, and you accept and acknowledge what you're feeling in that pain, then you can process the pain and then you can heal and let go of those wounds that caused the trigger in the first place. And then you won't have to have this little cyclical pattern again. Emperors, okay? I wanna make that very clear, this is for the emperors here, okay? All right, so then let's go over here to where holding back your truth, emperors, again, speak. I, I wanna make it very clear who I'm speaking to. Emperors, you holding back your, your feelings and, and how you really want to handle this, like, oh, not handle this, how you really, what you really want, which is a reconciliation and stability and a union here. Like, definitely, if this is romantic, like, this could just be between friends or between coworkers. But if this is romantic, this is someone who wants a serious relationship. This is someone who wants a union here, okay? And Aries, I feel like you want the person to come to you. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Just the messenger. It's not going to happen. You have to go to this person. You have to speak your truth here. If you're the one who left, which by the way the cards fell, it's how it's indicating. It feels like the emperor's left. And if you're the one who did the leaving, you got to you got to reach out. <laughs> you're the one who has to make the movement here. You have to reach out. You have to communicate. And the fact that you're not is adding a lot of instability to your life. And it's distracting you from a lot of things in your life. And it's making you less and less productive here. Okay. Uh, I want to look at the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah? Yeah. Let me use the Honest Truth deck with this one. So I have the Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. So I have the Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. I'm hearing that song again. <laughs> Leave it on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. I, I feel like it's more about daydreamy energy or just being so 
in in like up here and like not in not in reality oh man yeah queen of pentacles in reverse capricorn energy could also be earth or water whoever this feminine energy is emper emperors that you walked away from they're not giving any energy to you they're not tell me about the knight of swords in reverse tell me about the knight of swords in reverse i really feel strongly emperors you want this person to come to you but i'm telling you that's Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy with death, scorpionic energy. Look at this. There has been no communication between you two. None. None, 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 none. But death here basically is indicating that, yeah, there's no communication here because you're withholding communication. You're holding back your truth. You're holding back your feelings because you don't want to acknowledge how you feel. But death... I'm actually getting a bit of an, like, I'm getting optimistic energy with this, but let's go ahead and see what else wants to come out. Almost like things can change. Things can change. Aerie, my emperors, it's up to you, though. I'm, I'm being, I'm just being real here. I'm just being real. If you want to make this happen, you got to start talking and acknowledging your own feelings and acknowledging your own wounds. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. Because there is an, uh, there is a possibility for change here with death being here. It's not the Ten of Swords, you know? It's not the Ten of Swords. It's not the world. It's death. It means that there's an opportunity to transform this. Tell me about the Knight of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries. Tell me about the Knight of Swords in reverse for Aries. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, yeah, four of swords in reverse, Libra energy and seven of cups, scorpionic energy. This is you wanting to, yeah, this is you wanting to break the silence, wanting to come out of that separation, coming out of that break mode. Emperors, you want to break the silence so bad, but seven of cups, uh, you're confused on how to do it. That's confusion. Over energy, we have the moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader with, wow, the queen of swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. The ace of cups, holy shit. Ace of swords and the page of swords. Oh my God. Emperor, <laughs> emperors. I, 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 I'm I starting to feel really good about this. I'm starting to feel really good about this because you're wanting to break the silence. You just don't know how. But what did I say about death? Like there's a possibility for transformation here and healing because it's death. It's not the Ten of Swords. It's not the world card. It's not just about endings. It is about death and destruction of something, but with the possibility of renewal. And Aries, I'm seeing acknowledgement of emotions here. I like it. I like it here. So the moon in reverse, clarity, revelations about this queen who's now coming across as a queen of swords. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords, that, these two together, this is true emotion. This is true love. And I don't like saying that term. If you guys, if you those have been watching me for a long time, I don't use that term very lightly. Ace of Cups together with Ace of Swords. That is truth about love, truth about what someone feels. Also true love connection here with the Page of Swords. Again, double confirmation, right? Didn't we get that? Oh, no, we got that in the pre-shuffle. Anyway. You know and want to tell this queen that you love them. You want to. You just are so confused on how to do it. God, this feels so familiar. I feel like this is almost what we had for, um, was it Leo? I think it was Leo. Yeah, I think this is exactly what we had for Leo practically. This is crazy. Okay. Major connection there for whoever needs it. So then we have the four of wands with the moon. And then the being afraid to be vulnerable leading to this injustice. I'm actually wanting to look at injustice here. I like there's a lot of energy going on with that. Uh, I'm going to use Gilded for this one. Talk about justice in reverse. Talk about justice in reverse for Aries. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, this is really similar to the Leo reading, except Leo was more about like opportunities, missing opportunities. Excuse, like about to miss an opportunity. This is just someone not wanting to acknowledge their own emotions and then realizing, oh damn, I do love her. <laughs> or I do love the queen. Queen can also be a man, emperor can also be a female. It's just, it's just energy. Um, yeah, that's, I guess that's the main difference. In the Leo reading, someone was about to miss their chance. Uh, in this reading, it's more like someone really, really, really wants it. 
They just are now working through acknowledging how much they really love someone and then needing to communicate it. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about justice in reverse for Aries. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about justice in reverse for Aries. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Four of Cups in reverse, rejection. I'm, oh, I'm hearing abandonment. Abandonment. Can't say any energy with that. Whoever did the leaving might start to feel like I, I abandoned the other person. Because I feel like this queen is is actually feeling pretty good. I actually, I actually feel like this queen's like chilling pretty, pretty well. Um, but this energy of abandonment is coming through really strong. Um, oh, easily triggered and bouncing. Emperors, the emperors that I'm tapped into right here. You guys might have some abandonment issues, which leads you to abandon people very easily. Um, yeah. Oh, I got the chills when I said that. Yep. 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 They're saying yep. 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 And you're realizing that the emperors are realizing that like, oh shit, I abandoned this person because I have abandonment issues. It might not be as deep as that for these emperors, but they're they're having this feeling of I abandoned them. I abandoned my queen. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse. Yep. Eight of cups, Piscean energy, epitome of dipping out. These two cards together are undeniable abandonment, okay? Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for Aries. Wow, King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or um, Air. We do have a true pair on the board. The Queen and King of Pentacles. So this is definitely a soulmate at the very least. I and mean, you guys got the freaking lovers here. Aries. I mean, that's a serious ass connection. It's, it's usually a guided soulmate connection. Guided meaning the spirit wants you two to work shit out or spirit, spirit guided you two together for a reason here. Okay. Um, but it, yeah, I do feel Aries that this is the emperor showing up here. I feel like the emperor really did the bouncing. I feel that really strongly. And again, it could be vice versa, but yeah, I feel like the emperor did the bouncing and they're realizing what an injustice it was. And they are feeling guilt about that. The emperors are feeling guilt about that. So I'm just, which again is very distracting for them. Wow. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles in a verse. Virgo energy. So much. Oh, wow. The Zemper is realizing they lost their chance at a long term foundation, whether that was, you know, this is work related or family related. But this. Do you guys hear that? Sorry, I'm like, I'm very sensitive to noise. Anyway, <laughs> Emperor's. Uh, the emperors here have realized that they've lost their that they lost their chance at a long standing foundation, whether it was the potential for marriage or the potential for a long standing business relationship or just a long term relationship. They lost that. They lost that when they abandoned the, abandoned this queen. Okay. Tell me more about justice in reverse. A lot of cards want to come out. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air because they love this queen. They love this queen in love and not just any kind of love, but a deep ass, real honest, true love right there. They just, they got triggered and they let that run the show. Four of Pentacles, they don't want to let this go. Capricorn energy. They really don't want to let this queen go. Feels very Aryan. Feels very Aryan. And you could be dealing with another Aries if you're like a female Aries, but keep in mind it's energy. It is fluid. Um, yeah, so they, they abandon this queen. They regret it. They want a reconciliation. They don't want to do the approaching. They want the queen to come to them. That's not going to happen. And they're realizing that they have to face the way their true emotions about it, about this person. And they are. They are doing that. Because if they keep not, if they keep ignoring their own emotions of how they really feel about this person, they're going to keep dropping the ball in their day-to-day -day life because they are very distracted. Very distracted. Very just like, I can't focus. I can't focus. I can't focus. And they're realizing that they abandoned this queen in the way that they were probably abandoned at some point in time within a relationship or even as a child, and that they've lost a chance at a long-standing foundation, a long-standing relationship, a commitment, and they don't want to let it go. 
Tell me about justice in reverse for Aries. Wow. Oh, good Lord. Ace of Swords. It's the undeniable truth. It's the undeniable truth. They're in love. They're, they're in the midst of trying to admit it. Keep in mind, and everybody works energy differently. They abandoned this person. There was a break. There was a sense of separation. They realized, okay, fine. I have to acknowledge how I feel about this person. I acknowledge that I love them. What do I do now? Okay, I have to break the silence. Can they break the silence? I want them to come to me. That shit ain't gonna happen. This, this emperor has to approach this queen. But as of right now, it looks like they're having a really hard time doing that. There's a lot of pride wrapped up in this person. I think there's a lot of ego wrapped up in this person. This person definitely has abandonment issues. That's definitely what I'm picking up. And again, this isn't going to be for everybody. Overall energy, 10 of cups, Piscean energy. This is what they want. This is what they want. Put all the cards up of what they want. This is what they want. They want a happy home, a happy life, a happy relationship, a happy commitment, something that's very true, honest, and very full of love, and they can have that. They just have to do the approaching. They already abandoned this opportunity once, and they're living with that pain. They're living with that guilt here because they, they really truly abandoned. I mean, look at that. Four of Cups and Verse of Eight of Cups, that's true abandonment. And like I said, I think they probably did that because their own triggers around abandonment issues, whether they were abandoned by other partners or an actual family member as a child of sorts. Um, but they they know they know the truth. And they're accepting their feelings. They just need to make the approach and they're having a really hard time doing that. A really hard time doing that. Ego and pride is getting in the way. OK, wow. And I like I said, I feel like my queens are actually, you know what? Let's check up on the queens. Let's check up on the queens here. Um, use legacy deck. Can you tell me about this queen, please? Tell me about this queen of swords. Focus on the queen of swords. That's more of the energy that this um, emperor is seeing them in. Tell me about this queen. What's going on with this queen? What's going on with this queen for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? What's going on with this queen? Going this queen for Aries regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. What's going on with this queen? What's going on with this queen? Wow. Uh emperors i hate to break it to you but they've got to let this go and hermit in reverse is virgo energy with the four of pentacles in reverse capricorn energy this is basically these queens have spent some time healing and now they've let it go they've let it go wow yeah three of cups in reverse can't Saren energy with the king of swords aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra again true pair situation this queen's not even thinking about a reconciliation i'm sorry I'm sorry to my emperors who are watching. They've spent their time in remote. They've spent their time healing. They've let this go. They put it behind them. And they're not even thinking about a reconciliation. Some don't want a reconciliation. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. I'm not saying they're going to say no to an offer. But as of right now, they're not thinking about it. Tell me about the Queen of Swords for Aries. Tell me about the Queen of Swords for Aries. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Time of the Queen of Swords for Aries. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, Tower in Reverse Scorpionic Energy. It could also be Aries because it's Mars Energy. This is the Tower moment of the abandoning. <laughs> the abandoning. <laughs> Sounds like the reckoning. Of the abandonment event. Yeah, they, they've already put it behind them. Time of the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, Page, Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it wasn't fun for them. Aries, like this event, uh, this abandonment, abandoning was really awful for them. It wasn't fun for them, but they went into hermit mode and they spent their time healing so they could let it go. And they did, and they don't really want a reconciliation or they're just not thinking about it. They're just not thinking about it. They do see you as a soulmate to my emperors. They do. They see you as a soulmate, but they're not... 
it's not even, yeah, it's not even in their head. See, three of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, yeah, and then seven of cups. Options, they're not really, they're not thinking about it. They're not thinking about it. Sorry. Again, doesn't mean they're going to say no. You should definitely try. It's just not in the forefront of their mind right, right now anymore because they, they put it behind them. Okay? All right, let's pull some advice. Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? 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 Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? I was like, oh, you gotta give me something. Yeah. Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. 64 cyclical energy. Closing out cycles here to open new ones. Emperors, you got to work through your wounds. You got to work through your pain here. And once you acknowledge your feelings and then try to make an approach, you're going to feel a lot better. But you have to close out these wounds of the past that trigger you to do abandon, abandon to do Jesus that trigger you to abandon people. Aries. Emperors specifically. See what else wants to come out here. Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, I like it. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Okay. So now we got two other cards that came out here. Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery, Energy of Eight. And Eagle Spirit, Spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to a five. So I like this Aries because definitely this is for my emperors. My queens, obviously you guys are chilling. <laughs> you guys are chilling. This is mostly for the emperors here who are watching. So Eagle Spirit basically is telling me that spirit is around you at this time. You have a guide that are close to you, that's close to you trying to guide you through this in a divine manner here, okay? What they want you to do is acknowledge your wounds, close out those wounds of the past because they're clearly hindering you. They're hindering you and it's okay to, it's okay to spend time alone and feel pain to do that because that's how we heal. Okay. Got to feel to heal. You guys already know that's like, that's not, that's, you know, you guys already know that's my saying. Anyway, <laughs> close out the wounds of the past here. And once you do, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. That's what spirit's trying to tell you. Like go there, emperors, go to that dark, scary place, go to the water, go to the realms of emotion and try to, and start to heal your stuff. Heal your stuff, accept how you feel about this person, and you're going to be really, really surprised at how amazing you feel and the success that can come uh, that can come your way by doing that. Because when you heal and create space, you allow space for more positive things to come into your life. Spirit's trying to teach you that. Overall energy, we have Wombat Spirit. Be at home. Oh, I love it. 68 was a breakdown too. I think this is a five, right? 13, 14. Wait. Yes, that's a five. Yes, that's a five. So you have two fives here. Actually, I want to point that out. You have two fives and then you have that 10 cyclical, right? And then eight is success and prosperity and abundance and stability. But two fives, you have to go through this transformation. You kind of got to go through a death process here, Emperor, especially when it comes to your ego. Your ego is getting you in trouble in situations like this. Be at home is being comfortable in your own skin and being comfortable in your environment and with other people. I'm talking to emperors here who are very mistrusting of people because of their own abandonment issues. Spirit's trying to help you through this, trying to guide you through it, because once you go there and close up these wounds, you're going to feel amazing and a lot of doors are going to open for you, including possibly a door with this person again. But you got to go there. You got to go there. Okay. Oh, see, and look at that. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Another cyclical energy. Close out the wounds of the past. Wow. With moth spirit, surrender now. 39 breaking down to a three. This is relinquishing control, which comes out of fear, which comes out of ego. And that is exactly what got you in the trouble in the first place, emperors, 
is by allowing yourself to get triggered from your wounds and abandonment issues. Clear it out. It's time. A lot of great things can happen for you, including something with this person, possibly, if you do the work, okay? Spirit's right there with you. You're going to be cool. I promise. If you do it, you're going to be cool. All right, guys. I know this was kind of a, I know this was kind of a rough one. Um, sorry if I came off a little. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know there another way to say that. Um, but, you know, I just, I got to call it out as I see it. I got to call it as I see it. And I'm never going to sugarcoat it like ever. And this is just, this is real life shit. You know, like I get a lot of comments sometimes of like, oh, why can't all your readings be positive? It's like, cause life isn't always positive and I don't choose the messages. Whatever messages need to be heard, need to be heard. And this was a big fat lesson for some emperor out there. I think it's actually many, many emperors um, out there who really need this. Okay. And then also queens who kind of want some, you know, insight as to what's going on with an emperor here in their life or that they're energetically attached to. Okay. All right, guys. But I hope you did find it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go to Patreon. Check that out along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aries. Namaste.